is up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today as you guys can tell by today's video title today is my very first timu video i can't believe i've not tried anything from timu yet i've seen so many youtubers that i watch all the time do so many videos on this like a couple of months back i am so late to the train but better late than ever right for this video i thought i would ease myself into the timu or the world of timu is it timu or temu i have no idea how to say it and basically just do a video about just very extra dresses that are super affordable. I used to do these types of videos with Wish all the time, so I can't wait to see what this website is about. If you guys are new here and you haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But I guess it's time to see what these Timu dresses are all about. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the very first dress is this one right here. This one was £7 and honestly it is super affordable. So I don't have high hopes, but I guess we'll see. It is literally so tiny. What the hell? But at the same time, the dress is kind of a mini dress. So it's going to be quite small. But this is it. It has got the really nice sparkle to it, just like I did in the picture. And the little glitter chunks aren't actually falling right off. So that's surprising. But wait, where are the straps? What the hell? There's no straps. Where is it? I swear to God, did they send me a dress without the straps? No! Oh my gosh, what a fail. Why isn't it already attached into the dress? I don't get that. Oh, <laughs> I just found the strap. It was in the bottom of this bag and I didn't even notice. I just like threw it away. Okay, so there is a metal strap which comes in this really dodgy looking plastic bag. So there's two separate straps and you can just like hook it onto the dress yourself, which is kind of strange. I feel like this dress, if it fits okay, it would be pretty good for like a Halloween costume. Maybe if you're going as like the devil or something. It's just giving me like Halloween vibes or Christmas vibes, but probably more Halloween. Okay, there we go. At last, the dress is complete with the straps. It's a pretty simple dress, but I'm just hoping it's gonna fit me okay. I got this in an S, so I guess let's pop it on and see how it fits. All right guys, so here is the very first dress on and what it looks like. I have to say, it's a little bit loose for my liking, especially this being a size small. In the pictures, it literally looked so snatched and so well fitted. And sadly, that is not the case with the dress that I got. It's super baggy right here on the sides of the bust, but also in the tummy sort of area. It just does not look as good as it did in the photo. But I mean, for how cheap it was, you could totally like maybe tailor it yourself. I don't know. Visually, it does look exactly like the photos. I mean, the straps and obviously the actual like sparkle of the dress is spot on but sadly it's just the fit of it it seems that it's more of a medium than a small that's why it doesn't really fit me so that's a bit of a shame I feel like we're off to a pretty bad start I don't really have high hopes for the next dress but let's see what it is okay the next dress we have is this one right here this one was 10 pounds a little bit more pricier but I mean the color is already perfect oh wow what is going on here there's so many straps I I cannot remember for the life of me how to actually wear this dress. Oh, okay. So it's one of the ones that are like ruched in the front and it is pretty sheer. I mean, you can literally see my hair through that. You're definitely gonna have to wear something underneath this because this is just way too sheer. But yeah, it has all these straps that you pretty much just tie yourself and then the whole entire back of the dress is pretty much backless, like there's no fabric to it. So you use the straps as the backing of the dress and then the bottom of it is really, really scooped. Can you guys see that? It almost has like a cowl neck at the very bottom of the dress, which I feel like is very trendy right now. And then these straps just basically like dangle down all the way. I am pretty sure this is a remake of like a designer dress that I've been seeing all over the internet recently. And judging by how sheer this is, I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but let's go try it on and see how it looks. This next dress is honestly everything. I cannot get over how snatched this is. Like I said, it is a little bit on the sheer side, so I did have to put some nude cycling shorts underneath. And then on the top, I'm just wearing some sticky cups because obviously this dress is pretty much backless. So let's take a moment to look at it from the front before I show you guys the back. Honestly, it is just perfect. I love it so much. And now for the back, this 
this is what it looks like and I probably tied it completely wrong. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like seamless and not crossed over from what I can remember, but I don't know, I just did it like this. I really love the way it looks, but the only thing is this little butt cowl kind of segment is way too low. I feel like if I wasn't wearing these nude cycling shorts underneath, you would literally see my butt crack. And that is not the kind of vibe we're going for on this channel, you guys. So yeah, it's a little bit too low in my opinion. It should be like here. I also feel like this tied effect should definitely not be sitting on top of it. So I definitely tied it wrong. But yeah, once I figure out the tying kind of back situation, I feel like this dress will be perfect. I really love it from the front. So I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. All right, moving on to the next dress. We have this one right here, which is a all black dress. We love a little black dress moment. However, I feel like this one is gonna be a little bit strange. Oh my God. Can you guys see this? It is a sheer black dress with little like hands kind of like cupping the breast. This is crazy, you guys. Oh my gosh. Again, I feel like this would be a really great dress for Halloween because it kind of gives me like creepy vibes. It's got a high neckline and then it's completely see-through. And then the bottom is obviously a little bit more opaque. It has got a slight ruching in the front and it's basically just a mini dress. I'm pretty sure this this dress was again like six pounds, so super affordable. I guess let's try it on and see what it looks like on me. All right guys, so here is the crazy dress and what it looks like on. Clearly, I couldn't just go commando underneath this. I actually had to put on a little bandeau over my chest because it was super revealing and I cannot show that on YouTube. But as you can see, this is the effect that it gives and honestly, it's a little bit like gimmicky in my opinion. I feel like from what I remember in the photo, the actual hands went over the bust way more rather than just on the edges. So it was more like this. I feel like the hand prints are just way too far apart. They're almost like on the edge of the boob, which doesn't look that good. As for the rest of the dress, it is pretty snatched. I mean, I like the mesh. I like the high neckline. Everything fits really well. I also do really love the ruched effect in the front. I feel like it just gives it a nice a bit of shape and texture. I mean, for how affordable this dress was, it's not that bad. It's just personally for me, it's way too revealing on the chest. I do think it's kind of cool though. It's just for me, I definitely need to wear something underneath it. And yeah, for Halloween, I feel like this would be a really great dress. Quality wise, it's not terrible. It's actually pretty all right. So I'm gonna give this like a nine out of 10. This dress is one of those body heat thermal kind of dresses. It basically has the shape of a body printed onto the dress, which I think is so cool. These kinds of dresses have been super trendy for a while now. And honestly, when I saw this, I just had to get it. The only thing about this dress that's kind of thrown me off is how big the belly button hole is. It's freaking ginormous. It's literally like the size of my eye. I'm sorry, but a belly button is not that big. But yeah, this is the dress. It's got a long sleeve. As much as I love these kinds of dresses usually, I feel like the print on this one is just a little bit off. It doesn't look like a normal body, do you know what I mean? I feel like it needs a little bit more definition and a little bit more contour rather than like just having these white blobs all over. But either way, let's go pop this on and see how it looks. Here it is, this is the dress. I mean, okay, it's not as bad as it looks just by holding it up, but I still feel like the body shape is just a little bit off. For example, the belly button is all the way down here, whereas my real belly button is up here. So everything just looks a little bit weird. Also, I feel like because the outline of the belly is like right here, it almost makes it look like it's a pregnant belly, which I mean, I'm not pregnant, so that's not the vibe I'm going for. I don't know. I just feel like maybe for Halloween, this dress would be okay, but I probably wouldn't wear it on just like a day to day. That's for sure. It's also made of that pretty cheap kind of fabric. It's not see-through or anything, but it just doesn't feel nice. It just kind of feels a little bit like static. So all in all, I would say this is probably my least favorite dress so far. I'm gonna have to give this like a four out of 10. The next dress that we're gonna be trying out is another strange one and it's this one right here. As you can see, it is pretty revealing on both of the sides. I honestly have no idea where anybody would wear a dress like this. This dress was 10 pounds and I have it right here. So on the top, it looks pretty normal, right? It just looks like a regular kind of high neck dress without any sleeves. Then as you get to the bottom, you start getting these like 
cutouts which have these strings all around the side. Honestly, I feel like this will make my thigh look like a piece of ham wrapped in string, if anything. It's completely just cut out and exposed on the sides with just a little bit of fabric on the front and the back covering your decency. It seems to be more of like a midi dress. It doesn't go all the way down to the floor, but I mean, on that note, wish me luck. Let's go see what it looks like on. And here it is. Here is the next crazy dress. I mean, take a look. This is literally just so freaking exposed. I honestly don't think I would ever feel comfortable to wear this without the little shorts underneath just because I would feel like half of my butt cheek is out on show. It does cover up a pretty decent amount of your butt though, so it's not that bad. I guess it could be worse. I feel like from the front, this is a pretty cool and unique dress, especially when you do that. Like, it looks so cool. I know I keep saying this, but I feel like for Halloween, this would be such an amazing dress, whether you're going as a witch, as a cat. I feel like a black dress is just appropriate for so many different Halloween costumes. So yeah, this would be a really cool one. Quality wise, it's actually not that Quality wise, I feel like this is pretty good. It's very, very stretchy and not see-through, so that's a plus. I honestly thought I would hate this dress, which is crazy because I'm actually kind of liking it now. So I think on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably gonna give this like an eight. And now moving on to the very last dress, we have this one here. This one is not bodycon from what I remember. This one's a little bit more like cottage core kind of vibes. And honestly, I really, really like it. It's got the ruched kind of fabric on the top. It's got super like, puffy sleeves. It then has a little bit of like a frilly double tear kind of moment on the dress. Honestly, what's not to love about this dress? I feel like it would be perfect for spring and summer, which clearly we're not in anymore. But I'm definitely gonna save this dress for next year if it fits right. So let's go try it on and see how it looks. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this dress is actually my favorite of all of them so far. This is actually a pretty wearable dress and the quality is nice. It literally fits like a glove. Obviously it would because this part of the fabric is very stretchy. So I feel like it's gonna fit no matter what bust you are. Also, I've realized that the sleeves are not actually supposed to sit like this because the neckline just looks really strange. It's actually more off the shoulders, which I completely forgot as I ordered these dresses a while ago. But yeah, it's actually such a cute little dress. I cannot wait for spring and summer to roll around next year so that I can actually wear this. Quality wise, it's a 10 out of 10. It's not see-through and the shape is really stunning. So I really like this one. All right, guys. So those were all of the dresses from Timu. Honestly, I had so much fun trying them out. Some of them were better than others, that's for sure. Let me know if you guys want to see any other videos like this from Timu in the future. Maybe I can try like another kind of genre of items like homeware. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.